Welcome everyone, it's RP Jimmy back at you with some more WrestleQuest along with Bill. Bill, how are you doing? I'm I'm feeling like this song, relaxed right now. <laughs> so I did a lot of getting to know this game a little bit better in terms of the the combat and whatnot. But also mm -hmm. I, as you've seen right now, I'm getting these items that I don't know what I'm going to, supposed to do with them. We have a cotton ball. I have 24 cotton balls. Four metal chains. Mo of nine model glues. A four garbage can lids. One shark's fin. And three plastic scraps. Uh, I did level up my people a bit here. And right. also... I think we forgot to point out the... Let me lower the volume a little bit here on the game side. We I forgot to point we forgot to point out the irony of where we are. This is a junkyard in the area for the junkyard dog. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. So we're just gonna continue to go through this area, and hopefully we'll get some plot because I we didn't really have that towards the end last time because. I kind of was trying to learn the battle system, so I wasn't really concentrating yeah. on it. So here we go, with more garbage people. So Bill, tell me how you've been. Oh man, you know, I, I've been doing really good. Um, just for most part, life's been pretty good to me as of late. So nothing really to complain about. Mm -hmm. So I've been using some of his uh, Toy Box Jimmy's stuff here, like Monkey Wrench, where it disables a target's special attack for three turns, because this shark puts you to sleep, so I want to stop that from happening. Right. And her move, Barbe, she... My favorite move from her has been chemistry class. Because... <laughs> because, one, it attacks everyone, as you're about to see. But also, it lets them. It puts them all on fire as well. So it's kind of an after oh, yeah. after effect as well that will keep harming them. Mm -hmm. This guy hides for some reason. I don't know why. Is that like Oscar the Grouch's cousin or something? <laughs> I wonder. I, I mean, I feel like Oscar the Grouch does have a family. Yeah. Does, no, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Do you know any of their names? The only one I remember is the worm. Okay. I think his name was Slimy. That sounds right. So, I also learned about how to do tag team stuff. So, when you have to do prepare for tag team first, it's like a two-part thing, so... Then when it gets to the other person's turn, which you're gonna you're gonna see here, instead of go character, you go here to take two. So mm. Toy Box Jimmy has two: Lunchbox Jimmy and Toy Box Blockbuster. So okay. in this case, we'll try this one: bring the pain with a hard and spicy sensation. <laughs> Oh, so he just throws a taco at him? That's the hard thing <laughs> 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 Alright, let's finish them off here. I think I want to transition that into maybe what a, a, a cool topic for this video that we can kind of talk about. Some of the great tag teams in pro wrestling. Mm-hmm. Like, who... I'm not saying for you to give me an order or anything like that, but right. give me like five of your favorite tag teams of all time. Well, let's see. I I am a fan of the Hart Foundation. Okay. Um, Brad and Jim, just the unique like characteristics meshed so well. Oh, we got a story. So Chuck oh, okay. Shane, um. 
At least I'll be Chuck Chain. Toy Box, what's a rat like you doing in these parts? You just caught me! Is anyone gonna touch that one? Anyways, boss, we're just passing through to visit a friend. Truce breakers don't have no friends around here, Jimmy. That was a double negative. Didn't you have enough last time? Oh, we fought him last time? Uh, heh, you and your blanket are on my turf this time, chump. My turf, my terms, my team. Get him, Scrapjaw! Dios mio, what is that? This ain't no normal junkyard rodent, that's Scrapjaw. That was a double negative. Scrapjaw's a big wrestling fan, Blanket Boy. He's been studying all the body slams and chokeholds in the biz and worked up some nasty defenses. Alright, so it looks like we're at our boss battle now. Alright. Story progression. Yeah, seriously. Alright, so tell me more about what what'd you like about the Heart Foundation? Okay. I just liked how, you know, like the two different styles could work together and how even when they became good guys, they, they could be like they still had a little bit of that bad guy mentality from time to time. Mm -hmm. So I really like that. Um I also like I also love demolition. I, I know you're not a fan no, of them, yeah, but not at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those like childhood things. I just like the, the presentation of everything and and then I guess like from the last several years the um, the Briscoes were just such a fun team to watch Jay and Mark Briscoe um, they could adapt to any style you know like against the opposing team and they could hang with them. You know, they could hang with a team. If it needed to be a brawl, they could brawl. If it was high flying, they could do high flying. If it was technical, they could do technical. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I, I love Steen and Generico, or Owens and Zane, however you want to call them. You know, that, like, when you first watch them, it's kind of like the odd couple Time for the yeah. tag team is like there's no way these two should work but then you know the further they go along they become like just a tremendous meaning and I think that's what makes me really like that team um and and the final team um I, I think I'd have to go the Steiner brothers. Um, they were, you know, the, these guys that could wrestle but could also beat the crap out of you mm. and could, like, you know, give you a negative attitude if you do something wrong to them. Right. Um, yeah, so, like, tell me, what do you think... What do you think makes a team feel like a... So, okay, so you know how there's a, bu there's a bunch of teams throughout the history of pro wrestling that... Um, hold on a second here. That they... This guy's got a lot of help. Uh, that sometimes get thrown together, and I think the success rate is not as high of them coming out well as... Like, there's a better, better chance that the, it doesn't work than it does, but obviously there are times, yeah. like, uh, off the top of my head in history, the New Age Outlaws, um, I I used to like the Sting Lex Luger tag team. Mm -hmm. And then there's stuff, in my opinion, I'm just speaking for myself here, that doesn't, that does not work, like Chris Jericho and the Big Show, and, right. I don't know, I can't, so what do you, what do you make things... Will you, give me some examples of those if you think 
that work and don't work while I fight this battle. Well, you hit the outlaws, you know, right on, you know, head it, you know, right on the nail. Like that was, like, r not randomly put together, but well, I, I guess you it's could say time. randomly put together, you know. But that worked out really, really well. Um, one, I'll give you another one that kind of worked well was Angle and Benoit. That was a team, you know, that was put together and it really worked. Because, like, the number of times they wrestled and how they're both, like, equally skilled. Right. Um, I'm just trying to think of teams that didn't work. I mean, I feel like there are more than, than that did. Yeah. I guess the reason you probably have trouble remembering is because they just stopped eventually exactly right like I, I guess i don't know if this would be one that we could say didn't work but matt hardy and bray Wyatt. i definitely say that wouldn't do work 100 percent. right um I'm trying to think of another because i think the problem is is like if you think like early 2000s, like Ruthless Aggression and all that, and you have to try to think of like the teams, like some did work, and I think those are remembered. Oh, you know what? Okay, I just thought of one. I want to see if you remember this. Thing. Charlie Haas and Rico. Yeah, that's another good example. <laughs> yes. That was more storyline based because Charlie Haas was at the time I think dating or engaged to Jackie mm -hmm. Jackie Vega. so I think that's probably why they did that team Today's announcement. Hey. Oh, well, do you so have any what I was gonna ask if you had any others that you could. No, I mean, I could. I was hoping you carry this conversation because I'm um, doing this stuff. No, I know. Um, and in WCW, like they could have had like a hundred tag teams that didn't That's work true. out, and nobody could remember. Um, I'm sure there are like some NWO combinations. Oh yeah. That didn't work. Oh, like Vincent and Brian Adams. I think that was a combination. Right. And I think Norton and Brian Adams was a combination to do it one time. So that probably didn't work. Um, I'm trying. No, let me see. Nasty Boys were good. Um, It, it, it's kind of weird because, like, there are certain wrestlers that if you put in a tag team could work. Oh, God, how can I forget this one? Brad Hart and Goldberg. Oh, yeah, they were a tag team. I forgot about that. I mean, they were for, like, maybe two weeks, but they were a team, tech, you know, so. Um, and then... I remember one time in ECW, the original ECW, there was Chili Willy and the Sandman as a team. Oh, I don't remember that one. That might have been a one-time thing. <laughs> so, yeah, um... And then the the WWF version of Midnight Express, Bombastic Bob and Bodacious Park. Oh yeah, Park. That, that's another one. Yeah. Um. Jericho and China. Oh god. <laughs> although they never, although they never really teamed. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. But I guess we could put them in the in there for this. 
Um, I'm trying to think of any from like DNA. Well, I mean, they had some good. I mean, they had some good teams in general, but yeah, did they have any that were like kind of throwaway teams? Exactly. That's the thing because they did have. They still have good team, you know. But uh, throwaway teams. Um. I guess Samoa Joe and Kevin Nash. Oh wow! Yeah, I don't. I don't remember that one. I think that was a throwaway. Oh, team. because because well, that one is that like main event mafia? I don't remember that one. Might have been main event mafia. Uh, might have been something different as well. Um. <laughs> Ring of Honor never really had throwaway team that I could think of. Mm -hmm. um, so, which is which is weird to say, you know. But um, like one team that I know, like that I know of that's going on today. That's not a throwaway team. And at first, when I heard this team was together, I was like, I don't know if it's, it would work, but it, it's kind of actually worked. Is Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. And I think part of that is because they're both, you know, cocky, arrogant, uh, chicken, you know, like bad guys. I and know Austin Theory. The I, I don't know Grayson Walker, so I couldn't. I couldn't you're, you're, you're not. To me, you're not, not missing, missing much. much. <laughs> Good, okay. Although, although Waller did earn some points for me a while back when uh, he put his opinion on the Taylor Swift Travis Kelsey uh, dating rumor at the time, where he was like. Okay, you go ahead and you date a six. And he's referring to Taylor Swift as a six. Wow. Yeah. So disrespect. I was like, oh. I was like, okay. How dare he disrespect Times Person of the Year? <laughs> I was like, okay, you get supports for me for that. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. Um, and it impacts gotten really good as far as teams as of late. Like, I don't watch them as much, but right. like, some of the teams I hear you know, that have been well, even in the good. even in the past, they've had good tag teams, the North Saber Machine Guns, Beer Money, uh, obviously Team 3D, uh, slash Dudley, slash, you know. Yeah. And then, I, I think Probably the most favorite, like, randomly put together team is the Rock and Sock connection. Yeah, I think that's that. That's a fair. That's a that's a fair assumption. And I think what what I kind of like about the fandom of that team is they probably weren't even a team for a total of six months. Total. That sounds right too. Because it's, it was like they probably were a team for maybe three months max. Well, and every, it's everything in that era. I feel like seemed like it went longer than than we thought it did. I I, right. I remember a few years ago I was just watching 1999. I mean, when I say years ago, I mean this is even before the pandemic. That's how long ago. Right. And I remember saying to myself, I was like, wow, the corporate ministry actually didn't last as long as I thought. Mm-hmm. Got him. Yay. I got a rat fur jacket and fireworks orange. Orange fireworks. Ooh. I should hope everyone goes up a level. Yeah, seriously. All, I think one that. of them went up two levels. Good. Ugh, this isn't over, Jimmy. Boxwood will never be yours. 
It already is rat. Good job, Jimmy. You're undoubtedly the best gang leader in Foxwood now. You say that like it's a bad thing. You think that all there is to life is being the top tough guy in this town? Was that a, was that half a lesson in alliteration? Take it easy, Dr. Bay, and let's find Slimy. Who's Slimy again? That's a good question. Oh, I don't remember who Slimy is. Alright, let's keep going forward. I mean, it's... Oh, I see a treasure chest. And I don't think... I don't think we've done this yet, but... Did we actually visit the junkyard dog statue? I don't think we did. Uh, if it lets us, we'll do that too on our way out. All right. Maybe it'll maybe it'll play grab them cakes. Maybe, or at least it'll show thump on his ass. Oh, what's this? Right. Wrestlers have to make some tough decisions in their careers. Will you be a paragon of justice or and righteousness, or a vile and base fiend? The choice is yours, but beware. Choosing a path opens up a, opens up the door to certain outcomes, like new gimmicks, but closes the door on others. That's interesting. So this has a good and bad affects the story. Your choices mean something. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that from this game. Uh, yeah, this must be it. What could Principal Robbie want with this place? Well, this slimy. Uh, why don't you be slimy? Chill out on that door, player. No one ever said, Paul's sake, ergo sum. <laughs> hey, amigo, come out here. We want to talk wrestling. <laughs> wrestling? Man, don't you know what time it is? Vader time? <laughs> Six. <laughs> Six? No, it's time for slime. Hey, climbsters and rhymesters. It's the slime stuff. <laughs> Great entrance. I'm more interested in seeing his exit. Hey now, you come to my door, call me out of my home, and then say you want to see me leave? Are you some kind of blockhead? <laughs> no amigo, I hear you are quite the dunce. What kind of jerk refuses to help out the local school? Oh man. Did that less than super superintendent Robbie send you to rough me up? Principal Robbie is a great man who wants to showcase some electrifying entertainment to pump up the crowd and get more money for Boxwood High. Haha! <laughs> is that so? Man, have you got it all wrong? Let's slime and lay it all out for you. Robbie doesn't want better entertainment. He wants scripted entertainment. He wants every match to be as fake as his toupee. Ergo presto. Very. Also, you think his funnels you think he funnels the money from his promotions back to the school? Man, he uses that money to hire cronies and buy clothes. In fact, the only reason he has to dabble in the local wrestling scene is because of his criminally inept use of funding. Fake matches? But why? That's the part you had a problem with? Principal Robbie forgot about the first law of wrestling dynamics. Don't be a soft plastic. Easy now. This isn't the playground. Alright, gotcha. But it's true. Principal Robbie only cares about the money in his pocket, not the money in the school. So what makes you think so different from Principal Robbie? My uncle was a wrestler. I'm a wrestler promoter. Wrestling is in our blood, like scum in a swamp. You understand? Do you think you could help me get into the poor dark match by defeating the BEW champion? Only if you could promise me a victory. The only quid pro throw I demand. So what's it gonna be, muchacho? 
All right, so here's what we're going to do. Because uh, now that I know that there's actually decisions that will affect the story, I think mm -hmm. the way we'll work it is I'll make all the decisions for the Muchacho Man storyline, and you're going to make all okay. the decisions for the Brink Logan storyline. Okay. So I don't trust Principal Robbie. Sliding seems like the real deal, and I'm no faker. School's out, and I'm going to sign with Sliding. <laughs> Look here, my. Every... How do you say that word? My. Uh, eroded? My eroded. Yeah, maybe. My. Look here, my eroded reptile. Victories are the only thing Muchacho Man delivers. Oh, see. Haha. <laughs> You might just be what this local circuit needs. Some real flair. Some real bravado. Some real rux papuli. papuli. Who's making these okay. words? I know, right? <laughs> okay, meet me at the school's gymnasium and we'll get you into the ring, Machacho. Well, you sure taught me a thing or two. I'm sorry. I just can't work with someone like Principal Robbie. Oh, I know. I know Robbie's a crook. I know everything that goes on at that school. Wait, then what didn't you tell us? <laughs> no, I came here to find oh. out about your character. Wow. Thanks oh. for showing me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go visit the junkyard dog statue and say thump. Yep. Into the dark match? Okay. Into the dark I wonder if I'm going to have to fight Principal Robbie. How do I get out of here? Wait, why is there a question mark? I'm going to go see what that is first. Oh, okay, it's not this way. Question mark is I don't know. I'll come back to it another time. Okay. Let's get some I, I feel bad we didn't do as much progression last time, so I'm just gonna forget what the yeah, what's the deal with the question mark? <laughs> I just wanna go and say thump oh oh comrade. Join off today? Oh wait, what was that? Uh, 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 I'm trying to think of what my comrade voice was uh what would, right. that, what would that sound like? Okay. Join us today is the only wrestler in the toy room. Who has spent more money on toy polish than you make in three lifetimes? Dash talent. Is this supposed to be Flair? Yeah, I, I guess I, I can. You can do your outro, do I do Flair? Okay, go ahead. Yo! It's good to be here, but it's better to be me! Haha! <laughs> oh, wait, no, maybe it's supposed to be Jared. Well, it can't be Jared. Jared's literally on the left. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dash, as the heavyweight champion of... Oh, he's the heavyweight champion of Paul? As the heavyweight champion of Paul, I imagine you know everything that's happening in the company. Any big change-ups or additions in the works? Well, Double J, I don't want to spoil any surprises. Let's just say you can count on seeing some new faces at the P.A.W. See, I don't understand. Like, am I supposed to say P.A.W. the whole time, or am I supposed to say Paul? Right. Bye, Conrad. Hmm. Don't forget to buy houses. Celine Logan? Uh, okay, I guess since you're Brink Logan, I'll be Celine. Still yeah. getting in those extra workouts, I see. I do one quick... I do one quick one. More free time that way. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Yeah. But you also have sloppy form. <laughs> what are you doing here, sis? Did you leave the independent circuit? Come all the way home just to get some training pointers from your big brother? Brother? You wish. Actually, I'm here because some big news dad has. What is it? What? You don't know? Huh? I can't believe I found out before you. Probably because you're always down in this dungeon trading your arms off. 
I actually think my doubts are my best feature. But seriously, what's the news? Tell you what, if you can catch me, I'll tell you. Oh, okay. I'll just go this way then. Yeah, really. Oh, wow, that was real hard. That was easy. <laughs> Huh, I caught you. Now tell me, or your big bro is gonna suplex you. Huh, alright, you win. Dad says L.F. Font is coming to town. L.F. Font? Wow, it's been a while since he's been out, and you know what that means. He's probably coming to take one of our guys up to Paw. I wonder why Dad didn't tell me. Do you think... Do you think he wants to surprise me? Do you think this is my big break? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Pa and Ma want a, meet, want a meeting in the conference room. I'll see you there. Alright, let's go to the conference room. Conference room. The Logan House, brother. Let's see if there's any treasure chests here real quick. Mm, no, it doesn't look... Oh, maybe. I don't know. You know what? I think we've been here now that I'm looking at this, so I don't think there is right. any. Fork. Ugh. Snow. <laughs> Alright, let's... I wonder, so, apparently, so, you know how it looks like things are in a section? Yeah, you know, when, you know, like, they had the Macho Man statue, and... Where, where am I going? Yeah. Well, the Junkyard Dog section had the Junkyard Dog statue. I wonder mm -hmm. who's in charge of this snowy area. Yeah, there's really no snow here. I guess I have to go back in here, because... The exclamation point saying go this way. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say right now, unless it gets better somehow, uh, the exclamation point is a little annoying because it doesn't actually. It doesn't point you in a great direction of where you're supposed to go. So according to it, it I should be going right, and now according to this one, I should be going up and to the left. Watch, it's gonna work now because I'm calling it out. Uh -huh. That's exactly what's happening. Oh no, 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 here. So down to the right, and then out here. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Oh, here we go. PR, Lo who's PR Logan? <laughs> uh, all right, I guess I'll be PR. Oh, that's Paul. Uh, oh, Paul Logan. Sorry, Paul. That's you. Yeah. You know, it's just, okay. you're, you're, you're Brink uh, first, except older. Right. Ah, uh, Brink. Very good. Should I ask what the elephant in the room is? <laughs> 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 uh, I guess I'll be Ma Logan. Uh, oh, how, how is training, honey? Great, Mom. Feeling strong today. LF font. Oh, is this, LF is this supposed to be LA Knight? No. Oh, LF, L, LF on Elephant. Okay. LF yeah. Font. Okay. Um, uh, why don't you be LF Font? Okay. That's why I love the Logan family. You guys really are dedicated to the craft. Logan knows best. You've done a lot of wrestling up here in the north and all across the toy room. What brings you up here, Mr. Font? Peanuts. No. <laughs> Scouting. I'm here to see which of NCW scrappers are ready to come up to the big time and Paul. Sir, I'm ready. Mr. Font mentioned she's excited to see the Heike boys at Snow Slam, Slam Mania tonight. Isn't that right? Oh, yes. I've heard all about their cozy brand of electrifying entertainment. Oh, this is your choice for you. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the Heige boys, they sure are swell. Eh. 
of course, the Heige boys, NCW's best team, right? Uh, I'm going to go with the first one. Okay, this one that I'm on now. Oh, yeah, the Heige boys. They sure are swell. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, honey, our premiere event with the Heige boys in their prime and Mr. L.F. Font here in town to watch. It's perfect. It's wonderful, dear. The perfect day indeed. Footloose. <laughs> I guess I'll be footloose. It's it's the it's the perfect storm. Yes, we're just saying. No, you don't understand. It's snowing. It's pretty well. What do you hold on a second? Time out. Okay. The whole time it's been snowing. Like it's not something that just happened. In fact, they're saying the north, so I assume we're in the equivalent to Canada. Right. Why is this surprising? It's going to affect travel tonight. Come take a look. Oh, that's what the problem is. Okay. How are their flights going to get in? Oh, my goodness. This is terrible. Is this weather normal? There's only one person to save us, Bill. Santa Claus. No. This must be the Weather Wrestling Alliance. What? <laughs> ah! Weather no, alliance. they wouldn't, would they? I mean, they do control the weather. They do. I guarantee it. The WWA sometimes messes with the weather as part of their market marketing shtick. Awfully convenient timing. How does that help marketing at all? <laughs> What, what are we going to do? We can't host the event in this. We'll have to reschedule. Mom, Dad, don't reschedule. I'm going to go straighten things out with the WWA. Son, I can't expect you to do that. You're not even wrestling tonight. Wait, then why can't... Why, hold up. Why can't he do that? Because if he's not wrestling tonight, then shouldn't that be fine? Because you're not losing a performer? Yeah, I know. Well, right? <laughs> It's okay, Dad. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for NCW. For the family. That's the spirit. I'm coming too. Okay. Thanks, sis. We better bring Stag with us. He's probably still passed down in his pad to the west. Come on. Stag. Do you remember if I did Stag or you? For voicing. Uh, we'll have to see him. Oh, those are some fine kids you've raised, Ma and Pa. Thank you, L. F. I just hope they're careful. I think it was me. Now I'm thinking because I think I, I gave him a like a voice like this. Mhm. Mm oh, let's see if we can. Well, I guess we're not seeing that junkyard. Oh, I thought that. I thought that said N O W. I'm right. excited. Um, let's. I want to find the statue of maybe whose area this is. Snow globe, right? Okay. Hmm. Mm. Wait, what's camera mode? Oh. Okay. Freeform camera. Who's the poor soul that shoveled this path that I'm walking on right now? Oh, man. Oh, it's so much shoveling. I hate it. Right. Maybe, oh, wait, I see a statue. Who's that? Uh, no idea. And I can't get up there. It won't let me go up there, so I can't. Unless I go this way. And the trees are blocking me. What the hell is that? I mean, I guess because I'm thinking the first statues we saw were Macho Man and Junkyard Dog. Junkyard I assume dog. that it's going to be someone we should know from the 80s mm -hmm. specifically. Stag, sorry to barge in, but... Stag, hey buddy, come on. Stag, Stag, wake up. Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Whoa, yeah. what's with the alarm clock treatment? Are you kidding? It's 
almost noon. Yeah, Brink here has already worked out three times. Noon? Sorry, I must have slept in. I was up pretty late, putting in some quality Hockey 94 time. How do you even hold a controller with hooves? That's a great question. That is a good question. Stag, we need your help, brother. We're headed to Top Rope to the east to have a polite conversation with the WWA for messing with Snow Slamania. By the way, I'm very upset that we're just going to glance over how how does he play games with hooves, but okay. Yeah. A polite conversation, eh? I think I know what you mean by that. Slam through Frost Gnarl, okay. Alright, let's go right. NCW. Where the Wait, I was down here before, and this is this nothing? Isn't it just the lake? Oh no, no, no! I wasn't up. I wasn't up here. Yeah. Okay, we can see some action here, so be sure that everyone has a hype type selected. I think we'll be fine. Speaking of tag teams, wait, mm -hmm. is, is that a, what was that that popped out of the ground? I missed it. And apparently it's gone forever. All right. Oh, there it is. It looked like it was a bunny. Yeah, there it is. Oh no, it's a fox. fox. What the fox yeah. said? <laughs> That's right. And a wolf? <laughs> and you just slide back down I didn't without feel... being hurt at what? all. That's right. I'm invincible. It's he's the immortal Brink Logan. <laughs> Brinkomania running wild. I'm really surprised there's no enemies around here either. Oh, I spoke too soon. Let's see how Brink does here now that I know how to play a little bit better. Yeah. All right, continue your tag team talk now, then. Let's let's continue that. Okay. So, um, I think, you know, just looking at, like, today's tag teams, or just, you know, which has the best. No, no, whatever you want, since we're into a tag team mode here, whatever you yeah. want to talk about with tag teams. Like, I, I think, honestly, both WWE and AEW have good tag teams going like like the, the way WWE's done their tag teams like there was a point where after Wrestlemania and I think you'd agree with me mm -hmm. where their division kind of wasn't that big of a deal WWE has a weird history of sometimes they care and sometimes they don't care at all right where with AEW, I think right now their tag division is not at its peak. Oh, like yeah, it's I, been not. The I agree 100%. I mean, they even like because they're using throwaway, isn't the um, oh, we're gonna date this, but I feel like their current champions are throwaway team. Um, I mean, at the time of the recording, you can that but from what I've seen they've had you know pretty good you know pretty good matches and then the, the one thing that I think they're maybe making a not maybe but they're making a mistake at this point right now is with the ring of honor tag okay. I I know the whole thing is oh I'm going to wait until Adam Cole comes back you know, and then I'll give him, you know, his half of the belt and we'll be champions and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you could have done something to where, like, maybe MJF loses the title 
like real close before Cole gets back. But you know, with, with tag team division, it, well, it's it, with any division, real. But you know, you're gonna have peaks and valleys. You're gonna have high yeah. times, and you're gonna have low times. And I think right now AEW is kind of in a low time. But it doesn't mean that, you know, they can't get back to being a very good division. Sure, again. absolutely. So, and then, what did, I watched um, Bound for Glory a few months ago. Mm -hmm. The one that just happened. And I was really impressed with how, you know, like, their tag division was and I could see their division getting better and better again. Right. So um but 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 I think the important thing Damn it. Mind, I think, is how like with some of the tag team they've main evented paper like Owens and Zane main evented one of the Saudi shows. Okay. And and that was a big deal, not only for the fact that you know it's a tag team main event, but the fact that Sammy Zane was able to go into Saudi Arabia without being you know like ridiculed because of nationality. That, that's a whole different story for another time, but. Um, but yeah, I like I'm liking that we're getting a chance to have tag teams main event a pay per view now. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of been refreshing. Oh, uh, the storm is super thick here. I can't see anything. Um, okay, I guess I'm not going there. Yeah, really. <laughs> I ain't going through that, brother. That doesn't work for me, brother. <laughs> you know, we joke about because it's supposed to be Hogan, but now I'm really starting to think this is supposed to be the Hart family. Because <laughs> it's in Canada, it's a family thing. It is. Yeah, who who knew that one of uh, Brett's brothers was half beer? <laughs> right. You know, I love my brother. He was a deer. Both figuratively and literally. Oh, I should see real quick here. In this way, I think it's under. I need to make sure my people are equipped with, with stuff. Or that I'm not missing anything. Oh, that boots. Right. Well, that, that everything seems to be. If anything, I should probably off recording buy more things. Mm -hmm. I think I powered up. Muchacho Man's team because of the fact that I knew that, you know, we probably were going to get a mini boss coming, which we did. Yeah. Right, let's see if they'll let me go up here. All right, I guess that was. Yeah. Question. Here's mm -hmm. a sign that says snowy. But what if it <laughs> wasn't snowing? And what if it was That's a nice true. day out? That's true. And would it get changed to sunny? Well, I know apparently the Weather Wrestling Alliance will, will, would take care of that. Mm-hmm. But really, if you... I mean, I guess snow is definitely sabotaging, but can you imagine, like, if the Weather Wrestling Alliance made an earthquake? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Did I ever... I, I'm sure I've told you before. When I lived in Maryland, we had an earthquake on like the second day of school. Okay, I don't think you told me this. Oh, I haven't, okay. So, so, so like I said, it's a second day of school. The day is pretty much over. We're just waiting for the buses to come and you know, then we would do some stuff and go home. So I'm in the cafeteria with some of my kids and I felt a little bit of a shake underneath. 
but I never put the two and two together at the time. It wasn't until I got out of the cafeteria, walking some of my kids to their bus and then coming back, where I heard some of the teachers going like, we had an earthquake. Did you guys feel that? We had an earthquake. And honestly, it wasn't a big earthquake. Like, it probably wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even guess what it would have read. On the, on the Richter scale. Because Maryland never, well, almost never, has an earthquake. I know. This, that was the first I've ever heard of an earthquake. That's for sure. In, in Maryland. So, and I have sisters that live in Maryland, and I never had ever right. heard them talk about having an earthquake. So, there was damage to some of the school from that. And the county ended up closing the next day to repair, you know, the school that needed to be repaired from the earthquake. Hmm. And I'm like, and this, this is the first week with the student. Right. It's just one of those weird things that happened that probably will never happen again. You know, it was just so bizarre. And, and I think the funniest thing is the adults, the teachers, were more reacting to the earthquake than the kids were. The kids, you know, they were just going along as if nothing ever happened. <laughs> so, which is, I think, is the funniest part. Because, like, when it's snow, you know, the kids go crazy, go like, oh, it's snowing, it's snowing. Whereas with an earthquake, it was. The adults go like, eh, it's, we had an earthquake. <laughs> uh, let's try to pin him in. Pinning him. Ah. So when do you think the next time you're going to experience an earthquake is? Um, I'm hoping never yeah, again. Although, like I said, it wasn't that big, so... But, knock on wood, never again. There we go. By the way, more, more proof that this is supposed to be the Hart family. I don't know if you noticed, but when Brink attacked him, I had... I think I heard excellence of execution. <laughs> well, they're only at level three. The Machacho Man's team is on like level six, I believe. Mm. So no wonder why I'm struggling on these battles. I'm gonna have to level up off recording at some point. Right. And definitely buy new equipment, because if there's a boss in this area, I'm probably gonna get destroyed. I believe we only have a little more time left on this video anyway, so... Oh, here we go yeah. another round. Alright, do you have any snow- one. do you have any snow stories for me? Okay. Yeah, I, I do. Alright, let's get a snow story. I know story. I've never told you this one. Okay. So... I'm in... 8th grade. But, uh, like middle school. Mm -hmm. And... End of the day... We have a storm coming. So we had a substitute driver that afternoon. Okay. Fortunately, she went back to the bus lot after she picked us up to fill the bus with gas. Because the bus was kind of yeah. running low on gas. So normally I would get home by about 4 o'clock. The traffic was bumper to bumper because of this stuff. Okay. But the DC area, people cannot drive if they're left in the middle. Which is one of the main reasons I hate snow. <laughs> I did not get home until almost 10 o'clock. Oh my god. Yep. I was on the bus, did not go to the bathroom, 
But the thing was, and I'll tell you why I didn't have anything to eat. Because I remember my mom was bringing from her school uh, leftovers from the school's hot lunch because they would get, you know, lunch oh, okay. and serve it. Yeah. So I was like, because the driver had gone to McDonald's, you know, and asked us if we wanted anything to eat. And I was like, no, because I'm thinking in my, you know, to myself, I got, I got dinner waiting for me at home. Right. So, because they know that it's going to take you so long to get home. Right. And I think after that stop, it took maybe like another half an hour, 40 minutes, and then we eventually got there. So, but. There's that, and then um, my sister and her family, well, she only had uh, the oldest nephew at the time. And he was just eight. He's like yeah. four months old at the time. Well, their apartment, like, went, they lost power. So my brother, who is a cop, um, was able to drive with them to our house mm -hmm. and they stayed with us for the better part of a week you know while the whole apartment complex was trying to get you know the power back and all that and we had them for a week and it was during that time that my brother and his wife found out that somebody was going to, you know, let them adopt their kid. Okay. Which led to Michael being, you know, in our family. And this is all within like a 72 hour period. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of craziness. So. That was it. Yeah. And that was all, all started just by asking about snow. Yeah. And then, of course, the funny part is my brother and his wife drove to Florida to get the baby. Oh, well, at least there's no snow there. Exactly. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, what's this? Uh, top rope is just up ahead. So is, so is cold front, then. Time to execute on phase two, then. Come on, guys. Let's do this for LF5. Let's do this for the family. I want to work for LF. LF Font. I would say I want to, but if LF Font lives here, I don't want to live here. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Not in the snow. Oh, <laughs> wait, where am I now? Hold on. What? Okay. Oh, top rope. Boy, did you see that wrestling ring in top rope? Yeah, I think I did. It's it's the it's ice. Can you imagine bumping on that? Oh, go ahead. oh my god. Alright guys, we made it. Time to find cold front. Yeah, and have a polite conversation with them, eh? <laughs> you know it. Have a polite conversation with Cold Front. <laughs> okay. You know, I think this might be a time to stop. We're gonna talk to like two people, and, and then we'll stop. Uh, let's just—I just want to get a lay of the land, so to speak. Scott Hefty, nice for a wrestling match, eh? <laughs> Anyways, care for some cocoa? Heals you up. Uh, heal for max health. Uh, how was his health? I don't know. I'm gonna say no because I don't know. I think I'm okay. All right. Let me see. I mean, Celine is down, but other than that, the other two are fine. So I think yeah. Or I'm yeah, okay passing for now. For now. Let's see what's over here. Hat trick, Holly. These cold front boys are sure make being cold look really hot. Okay. Holly. Wow. Hey, thank you, Holly. That was real, real uh, insightful. I'm trying not to get... I don't want to go up up because I don't want to go to the next thing. Yeah. 
But I'm surprised there's no store around here. That's what I'm really looking for, to see if there's a store. Because I could use a store to buy items and new equipment and such. You know what I wish that this game did have? Uh, some way that I can just zap myself back and forth from towns. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully this won't do anything. Santa Claus! No, it's the root shooter. Man, <laughs> cold front really made it so frigid, my sap is about to freeze. Maybe you should warm up by the campfire. Is that supposed to be funny? Yeah, because he'd die. Yeah, that is true. He would die. Alright, we're gonna I'm gonna take the rest. We'll go on the next screen, and if there's a conversation, we'll go through it, and if it's not, then we'll just go to the next video. How Plastic did, tornado. Wasn't he <laughs> in the old, where we started? I think he was. How did he get here? <laughs> well, he's a tornado. Uh, there's only one stable that delivers nonstop bar barometric action. Cold front. Oh, this is, supposed, is this cold supposed, front. supposed to be in front? Is this supposed to be instead of stone cold? I don't know. Cold front. I no, Stone Cold was the dinosaur. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the only place for atmospheric carnage and high pressure entertainment is the Weather Wrestling Alliance. <sighs> Can you bring up and cut? Great job, guys. I want to get another take. This time with all three of you saying Weather Wrestling Alliance together. Oh, look, it's Brink Logan and his kid sister. I guess that's the family dog, too. <laughs> wow. We need to talk. Uh, all right, I guess we're going to have to go through this. So, okay, let's see if yeah. we can get past this. Ooh, you're in for it now. Time for some polite words. Sorry, but the storm you're causing for the promo is disrupting an important event for our promotion. Would it be too much to ask for you guys to postpone the promo, please? That was it. It must be a different, must be on a different wavelength. I must be on a different wavelength. There's no way we're postponing anything. Yeah, we think today is the perfect day for a promo, even if it does interfere with Snow Slamania. Take a hike, Logans. We're not changing a thing. How about we wrestle for it? I was afraid of this. All right, well. You want to wrestle us? A cross-promotion fight? You sure you can make those kinds of calls without your daddy's approval? I'm talking a shoot match. No crowds, no cameras, just us in the ring. You guys are in for some meteorological mutilation. All right. Hey, they said there would be no crowd. Yeah, that's true. They did say that. <laughs> oh crap! All right, let's see if we can, uh, if I can get through this as quick as I can. So we're going. Oh, of course, I have no AP left. All right. Um. Let's. He has one that damages all enemies. So you'll be mentioning the uh, the Weather Wrestling Alliance on your next show. <laughs> uh, it'll depend on what Billy Corgan does. <laughs> wow. What's this? Ouch! Now she's dead. Okay. Do I have anything to revive? Of course I don't, because I wasn't prepared for this. Let's get rid of the plastic tornado, because that hurt. Right. I 
nothing to revive them. Try this again. The middle one has so much health left. Right. Wait, what? It ain't repeated. Oh. oh, did I kick out? I guess I kicked out. And she's dead again. Huh. Me again. No, nope, I was pinned. Dang it. Uh, okay, if you go for what's wet work? Low blow headshot deals high down. Yeah, let's do that. Still the stupid tornado. And let's keep doing this one that damages all of them. Yeah. Keep on that one. That's the only thing that's working for you right now. Two of them are almost dead, so that's good. Right. He did, he did apologize. Sorry, man. Wait, why am I out here now? Oh, okay. this one and that's how the video is probably gonna end with a yeah. loss <laughs> well let me at least have some dignity and get rid of one of them nope uh, it's all up to you stag There it is. Done. Zero, zero, zero. Oh, wait. Oh, I kicked out. So he's he kicked out. Stag's still alive. He's stagging up. Stag will not go down. <laughs> Can I get one attack here? <laughs> Seriously. No, look who's still alive. He's still alive. <laughs> Let me have an attack. Come on now. <laughs> Like, what's the point of me staying alive if I can't attack right there? There it is, okay. Alright, that's the end of this video. No, wait, what? No! I just tossed the controller on my back. It's so good! <laughs> that damn stag! Dragon! Oh, now I think that will work. Here's Shelver. Yeah. There it is. Wait, why are you crying? You didn't lose. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody. Go tell people where they can find you. Wow. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at House of Bill and follow me on Instagram, Mr. Billiam85. 
And you can find me on YouTube and Twitch, official RP Jimmy, and on uh, Instagram, but that's podcasting. And next time, you'll probably see a leveled up team. You'll see maybe new equipment, and, uh, and then we'll try this fight again. All right, later, everyone. Bye.